Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. We're going to enter the Library and Vaults and hunt down the emissives of Sable. I don't think that I will. Reminder for Initiates. The following is a reminder for all clerical scholars and library guards seeking access to the special collection. They'll need to light all the torches to unlock the chest. To do so, bear in mind the following passage, and all shall be made clear. I began to think, upon the completion of the vivisections for that day, that there was some other movement in the ven venial and arterial blood that eluded the scrutinizing eye of my predecessors. I liked the fine eye needed to prove my assumption. Nevertheless, I felt overwhelmed by the fact that clearly the blood moved through the body, in a circle. Like fire, the warm life contained in our blood sweeps through the, our bodies in an endless loop. It is in this ring of life that our forms show their true sacredness. The path to truth in all things is a ring, and from where you start, you must return to that point to proceed. We'll throw that in the junk. So this is the exit, I believe. Because we had to find our own way out, right? Yeah, ladder to the forum. I remember seeing the other entrance in the forum. Yeah, I have a better idea. <laughs> or I don't. Am I getting lost in here? By a nearby lover. So this area is a little faster, or faster, a little bigger than I was anticipated. Aurelia's Cow. Praying to Aurelia for the favor of a haughty mistress, a shabby apprentice received this gift to gain an Archmage's love. Alright, so we found that before and read that description. Not the cow, but another piece of that set. So let's take me deeper into... Alright, let me go back and look at this book. Mind, there's nothing I can do with that. What about... I have no idea which way I have to go. I will figure it out.
he doing a darn front flip at me? <laughs> I mean, it's flashy, but I don't think that's the uh, the best approach in a fight. Wasting time to wind up and then perform a front flip before attacking your opponent. Description on the chest reads, The light of knowledge is the only way to unbind the secrets within. Okay. Darn. That turns off this one. Shoot. Turns on that one, turns off that one. So they affect the ones only adjacent to each other. Right? Nope, that. Yeah. It's a bit easier to do if it was a CRPG. Trying to do this from this angle was a pain in the butt. And then it extinguishes that one. Darn it. So is there any one of these that only affects one? So if not, I don't know. Oh, wait, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Was it this one that affected... It'd be easier if it was from a different angle, but doing it from like here, it's harder to see the pattern. I'm gonna try and turn them all off if I can. Well, this one's still on. Shoot. Just have so much to explore in this area. I don't want to just ignore this. Also, where does this go? If this loops down and around, looks like it just comes back up. All right. So before I forget, let's go back. We'll explore that basement area. We'll come back to this in a second. Also, I'm pretty sure that note we found earlier gave us the answer to that puzzle. So where you start is where you need to finish. I don't find those puzzles normally very difficult, but again, from this angle, usually puzzles like that are in games where you have like a, an isometric view of what's going on. Which makes it a little easier. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it when we get back. Just doing that to break all the crates that are beside me. So that's free money.
get a vault key. So those are probably for the doors that are very hard locked. Which I'm not having a problem with. Also, I didn't explore back here. So let's circle back to that as well. Just make sure all of our dead ends are covered before I go back and push forward and solve that puzzle. This way the run back won't be as far. Exactly enough gold to cover the three attacks. Get over here. Armor of the Wanderer. I've already read that description as well. All right, let me go back and actually focus on that puzzle and take care of that. Whatever's in that chest probably isn't even worth the hassle anyway, since I'm, my gear is probably better than anything we're gonna find going forward. Except for maybe the hammer. The hammer might be replaced at some point in the future. But I wouldn't hold my breath. Alright. So that one is turned on. When I activate this one again, what does it do? I'm just going to activate them all in a circle. Because that was the clue that we had. That'll be my first attempt, then I'll actually start trying the puzzle. Because we got that clue saying, hey, just you know, go in a circle, you'll be fine. Which is obviously not going to work here. It's also not where I started. I actually started on the other side. So all of them but one are turned on. All right, let's get a count here. So this one affects these three. This one affects the three on. Is it just three each one? Like they just affect. Oh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Okay, okay. Now that one's not turned on. Crap, this one's on. Uh, that messes up my, my idea. And back to only having one turned off. <laughs> Crap. Okay, I thought I had it figured out. But I think I messed up the, the pattern because I came in here and fiddled with it earlier. Wait, what is this? Oh! Okay, well that's convenient. Alright, so we'll start with this one. So three are on. What we need to do is probably go to the other side, right? Do... Three. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's this one. Sorry, it's very early in the morning. I woke up an hour earlier than I normally do, so you'll have to excuse me.
darn it, that one's still off. Shoot, thought I had it figured out. <sighs> okay, well, let's do it this way. Oh, crap, I missed that one. I looked right at it, too. I was like, oh, that one's on. It's not. I would just do it full circle. Because, again, I think that's the... That's what the note that we read told us to do, is just go in a full circle. Where you start... And there we go. All right. Magical wards in the chest have been lifted. So you just go in a circle. That's kind of lame. I was definitely overthinking it. But we got a vault key. So I guess it all's well that all's well that ends well. But also doing that from a third person perspective like this is a little harder. I could have zoomed out the camera, I think, and that would have helped out tremendously. hair tickling my ear my headset again. Alright, and... Alright, cool. So I did explore the whole area. Sweet, almost done. So didn't I pick up a... Yeah, let's get rid of that. I do miss Gallows End, where I was finding some exciting gear. I don't find exciting gear anymore. I inspect missives of Sable. This is the book that Grimm sent you to find. If Asmer is correct, there is no other way of taking the book than wrapping it in the shroud of a mission. Wrap the book. Now we made our, make our great escape. I don't want to fight me. Try to warn you guys.
Did I kill this guy? Were they actually inspecting the dead body? That's kind of cool. I haven't seen... AI act like that in the game before. We go. Let's return to Grim. Where is Grim at? What's needed? Oh, he said he was staying in the hospitalis quarters, right? What? We're gonna have a few quests to turn in here in Odessa, so we'll take care of all those before we go back to the Traveler's Camp. I'm assuming we're gonna go to the dungeon located in the uh, the Sun Camp. We'll start by going to talk to Grim. Then we have to go talk to Corden. There's like one or two more quests, I think, to turn in in Odessa. Many welcomes. Oh, hey, she's here. It is good to see you, though we have traveled far from my woods. You have recovered Grimm's book? Then the shroud of omission was of use. I am joyed. Okay, uh, the Hierophant. You have lived enough of our ways to understand, perhaps. The Hierophant is a ruler of the travelers, as you know. Where is the freedom in acquiescing to another's will? We profit from the Hierophant's wisdom, but Pay for it in service. It is a high cost. Okay, a star camp. I am far from its woods, and I miss it. I hope they are well outside of my presence. A shroud of omission. It is a piece that I was to steal when I came to the Travelers. A rare cloth, and not one easily replaced. Okay, a phasmer hum. I admit, I am not well acquainted to this human, and the phrases he employs are strange to me. Gore bellies? What are they? Still, he engenders trust and respect from Grimm. That is enough for me. Okay, uh, Mistress of Sable. I do not know the value of the book itself. Only that Grimm values it for what it represents. Betrayal. Uh, Krilgarin, Knave of Coins. I've come to lend what aid to Grimm's fight that I can. I... I feel a duty to see him safely to the end of this. May the okay. Well, it'd be a coin if you were looking for a mug of ale, but a rat ran off with the damn cork. Now the keg's spilled all over. Good. Glad to see you made it out in one piece, book and all. Knew the gnomes couldn't keep you back. Now that you're here, Grim can finally clue us into this plan of his. Right, Shroud of Omission. I don't know if Krilgarin made the bloody thing or stole it, but she said it's one of a kind. Place an object under the shroud and all the world forgets it existed. I've already let's listened to that this. before. All right, let's talk to Grim. The message of Sable. I'd like to see what these pages hold, but that needs to wait. Keep that shroud on it. The time has come. While you did this, I finally learned who the Hierophant is. Arjean of Sun Camp. We're taking it down, Dove. All of us. One last plan, one last job. The biggest we'll ever pull. But who is the Hierophant? I know now. I've had my suspicions, and the last one has been put into place. The Hierophant is Arjean of Sun Camp. I've told Arjean that I know her secret. And now she's asked to meet me in the ruins beneath Sun Camp. While we're there, you're going to plant the missives on Arjean. And the gnomes will have her in chains, like she would have done to me. 
What was the whole plan? Arjean tried to hand me to the gnomes for stealing the missives of Sable, a book they value greatly. Only you saved my life. She tried to do the same to you and Phasma and Rhythm. After that, we started putting my true plan in motion. I found the missives of Sable and found the Hierophant's identity. Now, we'll frame her for the crime she tried to have me killed for. Okay. Why don't we just kill Arjean? Too easy for one. Even if this started with a need for vengeance, the plan's grown bigger than that. Arjean's leveraged her powers to become nearly a goddess for the travelers. We need to show them all the truth. When word spreads of the Hierophant's arrest, they'll know for certain that their faith was misplaced. All right, uh, so what's the plan? The meeting with Arjean's affront. While I keep her occupied, you, Krilgarin, and Phasma will be able to move unrestricted. Where we're going is the Hierophant's lair. It's likely got some enchanted defenses. Krilgarin will be there to help with those. Meanwhile, Phasma will lead the gnomes to the ruins. You plant the missives on Arjean, and the gnomes will take her away while the world watches. And what will Phasma be doing? Phasma's got the tricky part. He's going to lead the gnomes to the ruins beneath Sun Camp. That way, once you plant the missives on Arjean, the gnomes will move in and take her down. Okay. And what's your part of the plan? I'm the bait. I told Arjean that I would expose her identity to the travelers, so she would ask to hold court with me. With luck, I'll have her gaze long enough to let you plant the missives of Sable on her. Okay. And what will Krilgarin be doing? Krilgarin will be your support. The Fae have many powers and sensitivities. I figure she'd be best suited to helping you. I doubt Arjean would invite me without having some form of security. Krugarin will help you get past them, so you can plant the missives on her. Alright, fine. Let's begin. Good. To keep the element of surprise, you'll be using a secret entrance to the ruins. It's one of the graves in Sun Camp. Once you're in, meet with Krugarin. Now, we've got to move. Do your part, and hopefully we'll see the end of this job. Uh, Sun Camp ruins. It seems that the Hierophant made themselves a little hideaway beneath Sun Camp. It's a monument to her abuses, her power. We'll topple that place as well as her. Okay, and where's the Hierophant? In an Arathi ruin beneath Sun Camp. I suppose the place is the Hierophant's retreat. I discovered it while you were in the Odessa vaults. I made you a secret entrance. One of the graves in Sun Camp will drop you right into the ruins. See you there. All right. Well, we've got a plan. I first have a couple of quests I need to take care of, like... This one. Back again? So long. No, this is, oh, this is the, uh, Dispelling the Chest quest. Or task, it's not really a quest. No, let's return to Cordon first, then we have... To go to the mines, as well as... Oh, like getting the second chapter. Yes. You! You won't believe this! I've been presented with the opportunity to join the Basilica Nostra. It must have been from your help. I never thought in my wildest years. I only hope to correct a mistake. It will take time to be approved. But here is your reward with my thanks. Uh, so you'll help me now, right? Of course, of course. I'm indebted to you. This is the least I could do. The order to set you in Sandstone Villa came from Templar Joriel. He's the one interested in you, and she's in the forum. If you wish to converse with her, we should go quickly. No one knows how long a Templar might remain in one place. Where's Templar Joriel? 
according to several writs that have passed my desk. She will be in the Basilica Nostra on business. Joriel is an extremely busy figure in this city. If you wish a word with her, now is the time to have it. Alright, well, I've already done that, so thank you for, for a whole bunch of nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, showcase. I have the full uh, Gaia set. I've had it for a while. There it is. I don't care for how it looks, otherwise I'd probably use it because of the stun chance and stun duration increase. But again, don't care for how it looks, I'm not going to bother. Is somebody going to talk to her now? We've already spoken to her. No, we'll go give it another, another talk. I do not know how it happened, but here we are. How astute of you to make it to this point. I might have been surprised to be uncovered so quickly, but Odessa is a city of whispers. I'm almost shocked it took this long for us to meet. A Templar Jorio. I've been trying to rout out elements of our leadership whose ambitions supersede the will of our people. I only hope I haven't failed. Uh, Octian. With Octian indisposed, there is much work for me to do. Too long has he operated outside of the knowledge of the Forum. We have all his creations under strict scrutiny now, thanks in part to you. Observers. I, I have been the one that has orchestrated your observation. There was much to gain, and relatively little to lose. You must understand, I meant no harm. Okay, I'm being observed. Why? The Praetorians have a saying, an army is but a single being, and every soldier is a weapon it wields. If every common soldier is a weapon, what of you? Certainly a rare commodity in these contested times, if not a kingmaker. Your presence here is too tempting for some of my colleagues, so I observe you to observe them. That is the game we Templars must play. So this is... so this really... So this isn't really about me. There we go. Yes and no. You wield a power new and greater than many are capable of understanding, and to unforeseen repercussions. I worry of that. But greater still is our response to this power, how we approach it, and how we attempt to understand it. This city, our race, is built on the promise of plans reaching fruition, and as convicted as some are, others might be distracted by you. And who are you suspicious of? A simple enough question. The answer is unfortunately complicated. I speak with the authority of a Templar. It is enough to make my suspicions law, if need be. So I must remain silent, if I wish to learn what I need. Okay. Can I do anything to help? No. To speak frankly, I had intended this observation to be conducted with your awareness. You were never meant to know that someone was watching you. It could make my quarry suspicious. It is a frustrating turn of events. But how did you come here? Who exposed this to you in the first place? I guess Bruton, the bodyguard you hired. Bruton? Bodyguard? I never hired any... Ugh, by Athene. I've been outmaneuvered. Whoever hired Bruton likely knew you would be watched and knows you're meeting with me. You have to find Bruton. Whoever he's working for, they can't have good plans for you or me. Well, why must we stop Bruton? We've been had. I gave you Sandstone Villa, hoping to use it to uncover the Templars who have been plotting to exploit you for war. But in doing so, my quarry uses their agent Bruton to trace me through you. They'll have both of our heads if we don't stop them. Okay, don't know where he's at, but I guess he's back at Sandstone Villa. He was the uh, bodyguard that was assigned to me at Sandstone what? Villa. It's been a little while since we've spoken to him, but... Weird that I blamed him. It was Corden who told me who... Had me under watch, not Pruden. We did the quest for Corden, he's like, oh, it's Joriel. You know? 
Hmm. Well, let's go confront Brood, I guess. What can I do for you? Well, I've learned enough about your doings to know when I've been found out. Took you long enough. When I was told I'd be targeting a man who came back from the dead, I thought I heard wrong. But then I learned about the Well of Souls. As soon as Juriel's out of the way, my employers will make the well theirs. And all of the power that comes with it. Yeah, I don't think so, Half Pint. Well, diplomacy has failed. Guess me and the boys get to play our trade a little early. I'll only rough you up a little bit. My employer wants you plenty alive for the vivisection. Yeah, good hand. Oh, the henchmen are stronger than uh, he was. Guess it feels that way. Well, that was pretty easy. So I did the quest a little out of order. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do this whole quest line before I spoke with Joriel about Octian. At least that's what it it feels like. I feel like I'm doing it out of order. Yes. not the outcome I had anticipated. That you were able to deal with it is gratifying. Killing Bruton should send a message to his masters to stop their plans. I heard what he said about my death. It seems I am indebted. With any luck, the serpent will not bite without its fangs. Our business can be concluded. Okay, uh, what happens now? You have proven capable beyond measure. As a reward, I give you the deed to Sandstone Villa. It is now yours, completely. If you wish, you may make improvements to it at the Grand Bursas. Now there is much I must attend to. I am off. Alright, cool. Got our deed to Sandstone Villa. We can upgrade it. It's now a permanent player. Well, I know it was a permanent player home anyway. It's not like they're going to take it away from me. I'm hoping I can just buy all the upgrades. I don't have to wait. Let's go there, buy all the upgrades, and call it a day. All the way over there, jeez Louise. Alright. Navigating, navigating Odessa is kind of a pain. More so because of where the quests take us, not because it's super big or anything. But the interiors of the buildings are, are not fun to run through. All the twists and turns and ups and downs. And welcome to the Grand Bursars, the city's financial heart. Though not a gnome, my superiors have authorized me to help you as best I can. Well, thank you. We can offer loans, property development opportunities, and oversight on investments made with us. Now, what could I do for you? Uh, tell me about the services. For a loan, we will lend you a sum that must be repaid in a week's time or we will be forced to collect by other means. We can help develop any property you might own in Edessa if you wish. Lastly, you can invest money. We will allocate it as we deem wise. And if you're lucky, you will gain earnings. Okay. Uh, I'll invest. Very well. We'll invest a standard capital on your behalf. We can't promise its return, but we will invest it to your discretion. Tell me about the investments. The riskier investments are directed towards the modest mining interests. They can strike it rich in Detir, but are plagued with other problems. The moderate investments are used to help develop the... lively trade with the travelers. Unstable, 
but growing strong. The safe investments will be used to support the Arcadium. Arthiza Lil and Oliver D'Artan rarely disappoint their investors, but yield lesser profits. Oh, well, it's risky for the biscuit. I'll make a risky investment. Well enough. The capital will partly finance a new Motus mining expedition, which can bring great wealth or nothing. Have a pleasant day. Oh, well, we've already, uh... Again. What can I assist you with? All right, uh, upgrade my house. Ah, so you are the new owner of Sandstone Villa. Very well. If you wish, we can have crews begin work immediately. Okay, make it so. Excellent. We'll begin work at once. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. Is that so? Well, we can certainly arrange that. Work shall begin on it at once. We've supplied you with a forge. Should you feel the desire to perform some handiwork of your own? Okay, make it so. Very good. We'll have it ready for you soon. Have a pleasant. Hello again. What can I. Is that so? Very well. The labs have graciously donated a potion bench for your private use. But after this point, we won't be able to work any further on the house. Okay, we'll make it so. You won't regret it, I can assure you. Have a pleasant day. Hello again. What can I assist you with? Can you upgrade my house? Regrettably, no. The quality and strength of the stone in your foundation cannot support any additional work. My apologies. Have a pleasant... Hello again! What can I assist you with? I'm here to collect. I'm afraid your investments have yet to return. You'll need to wait a bit longer to see what your returns will be. Have a pleasant... Hello again! What can I assist you with? I'll take out a loan. Of a hundred gold. Very well. We can issue you a loan now, the sum due back in a week's time. There will be penalties if you don't repay us. Have a pleasant day. I'm already not worried about Hello it. Again. What can I assist you with? I'll pay my debt. Very well. <laughs> the loan is returned. It's been a pleasure doing business. Have a pleasant Hello I'm going to take out a loan and not pay it back. I Very wonder well. day. what's going to happen if I don't pay it back. Especially once I go to like Mel Sencheer. Like, what are they going to do? Track me down? Alright, I guess uh, the next quest would be this one, right? We still have two more quests to do in Odessa before I go take care of the... What I assume is the final Traveler's quest. But I think I'm going to call the episode here, and the next one will wrap up the last quest we have in Odessa. Uh, this one here, whatever it's called. Paper Trail? Yeah, Paper Trail and Applied Science. And when those are done, I... well... Yeah, when those are done, we'll go do the Traveler's Quest, finish that up, and then I guess set sail to Mouse and Shear. I don't think we have anything else really to do on this side. Uh, I'll double check and go through all of uh, my current quests and see if there's anything else to do before we... Set sail to uh, Mel Senshir and uh, continue the main quest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.